Well, we're coming into this week with a Kyle HOH, so there probably won't be many updates from me for this week, because I don't think I could watch the feeds very often. But I watched some feeds last night, and I've been watching them this morning. And here's where it stands with Kyle. You know, he, he took all of last week to make sure he trusted none of the black people and how he was going to maybe backdoor Moose, even though, you know, this is similar to Celebrity Big Brother. Todrick was just so absurdly wanting to get out someone he knew very well on the outside in Carson, and he was just so obsessed with it, even though that early in a game to target someone that you know outside makes zero sense to me. I can see, yes, as the game progresses, he's a threat, let's get him out, but to come right into the season, Wanting somebody you know outside of the house out makes zero sense. It's terrible strategy, and it's that's how, you need to take advantage of that. So to Kyle to already be kind of obsessed with Moose and thinking Moose needs to go sooner rather than later tells me all I need to know about how terrible Kyle really is at this game. That aside, he also was talking about how maybe he needs to put up Summer and Tanisha. But I think he's starting to realize that, you know, he's in the seven-person alliance, the Savage Seven. And if he puts up somebody or two people from that alliance, he's going to have half of the house targeting his ass. So it basically leaves him with Betty. And as Kyle continues to try to segregate the house between white players and black players, which is just odd for one, but just... Tells you all you need to know about his true character, because it makes zero sense for his game also. You know, Marty tried to lay this similar, the similar groundwork last week for an all-white alliance, and it just created some enemies for him that he really didn't need to create. It's like Kyle can't grasp that there can be overlap in this game. I don't know if he suspects there's like a cookout alliance. I don't really think that's the case. I think he doesn't trust any of the black people, and he only trusts some of the white people. And I don't really know what's giving him that impression, other than racial bias. Because it's way too early in the game to be trying to segregate this house between white players and black players, when not all of the white players are on the same page, and there is no cookout. So it just makes Kyle look really bad. I've already discussed how Kyle Moore 2.0 looks really bad, so I'm not going to dwell on it. What I am going to dwell on is the fact that if this house didn't have Geno, this, this game right now would be really dark and really more cringe than it already is. You know, this cast, I, I, I mean this, I hate the vast majority of this cast. They are either really obnoxious or really boring. Robin cast casted like shit like she usually does. You know, last season, the cast was able to play really badly, but a lot of the cast was endearing. There were enough cast members on Big Brother Canada 9 that were endearing, or there was a couple that played well like Kiefer and Deshaun. But this season doesn't have many endearing people, it just has a lot of obnoxious people. The only people I actually like at this point is Summer, Gino, Herman, and Josh, and sometimes Betty. Everyone else gets on my damn nerves. And Josh is boring, and Gino is boring. And Gino is in the most boring showmance of all time that is just overly produced by the producers right now for whatever reason. But one thing that Gino is bringing to the table is he's not problematic and he's not an asshole like a lot of the guys in this house. And it is thanks to Summer and Gino that Stephanie is one of the targets this week outside of Betty because Summer laid the groundwork in a conversation with Kyle about Stephanie, and then Gino came in, who Kyle trusts, and Gino kind of hit a home run by putting the target on Stephanie. Even though I don't know if Stephanie going is best for Kyle and Gino's game, but it doesn't hurt Gino's game because Gino is covered with a lot of people because Gino isn't trying to segregate this house between white and black. So Kyle doesn't really have a choice right now. He needs to put up two people not in his alliance of the Savage Seven. Even though in conversations with white people, he continues to try to make the black players the quote other side 
even though I don't understand, I mean, he has to understand the optics of that. Because there isn't no other side. There is not a, an entire alliance of the black players. There are alliances within the Savage Seven. There is Tanisha and Summer, and they do have a thing with Herman. But there's not really this big black alliance. Betty doesn't really have anybody. And frankly, Moose rubs a lot of people the wrong way because he has a lot in common with Kyle in that he's also been throwing his own allies under the bus and not doing enough to throw people coming after him under the bus. So Moose is just straight up dumb. So as it stands, I see that either Stephanie or Betty is the target this week. I think they will both be nominated by Kyle. Um, this is thanks to the fact that Gino runs Kyle Kyle and Marty are kind of Gino's bitches, and it's kind of a good thing because Gino isn't problematic, and Gino is trying to play a good social game, whereas Marty just spills all the time. Marty today, just an hour ago watching the feeds, was spilling to Summer the fact that he is indeed aligned pretty closely with Kyle and Gino, pretty much making the fact that Jay called that out accurately, even though Jay was an idiot his own right, and I'm glad that Jay is out of this game because he was messy in all the bad ways. But I don't think this will stop Kyle from trying to gather and make the black people targets going forward. Even if Stephanie goes this week, I don't want to hear people saying that while Kyle can be racist because a white person went home on his HOH, this isn't what Kyle wants. Kyle does not have a choice. For Kyle's game, he's already ruining his smaller alliance. He has that singles alliance with Stephanie and JC and Herman and, and Kyle and Gino. Kyle has to do this because he doesn't have Gino to go after people in the 7-7. Seven seven. Kyle needs Gino in this game right now, and Gino has made that apparent because Marty also needs Gino in this game. Because... Gino has been able to talk both Marty and Kyle down from their ledges this past two weeks now. So if they don't have Gino to pull off some crazy move to turn half of the house against them by going after the Savage Seven, this is all Kyle can do is listen to the voice of reason that is Gino. But within conversations with uh, JC and with Jess, Kyle is still trying to make it seem like he sees the house as basically all the black people together, even though he doesn't say it that way, but he names them all. And the other players who are white, and Helena, who has said in her opening video that she has a hard time, that basically she wishes she was white, and she's doing a whole good job fitting in with the white people, because they consider her the only person of color to not be in an alliance right now with the black people, even though this shows more of Kyle's blatant racism to me, because he is saying the people that are in the room together are all working together, and they all happen to be the black people. But guess what? Helena's in that room too. So I don't know Kyle's logic if it isn't problematic logic. Anyway, there's also this vote. Who knows who Canada's going to vote for? I think it's going to be Marty or Josh, even though Marty's not in trouble at all. But when Canada votes on things, it's always that where they're from votes the hardest. And I think where Marty's from... And where Josh is from will vote hard, similar to like Kiefer, when Kiefer was an indigenous player, they voted hard as hell for Kiefer. I see the same things with Josh and Marty because of where they're from in Canada, being two places where they don't usually get players on BB Can. But if it is Betty who wins the, the safety, who knows what Kyle will do? Because I don't know if Kyle can function if he can't put up at least one black player. So... Yeah. Lord, I had to pause my recording because there was a fight happening on the feeds and I don't have time to watch all of it. But basically, Kyle is an idiot and he told Stephanie that he was going to put her up. But the way he told her is that because there was just so many people coming to him, like sullying her name to him, that that's why she has to be a pawn. Rather than just saying that he needs a pawn and, you know, it might have to be Stephanie. He goes and tells Stephanie that people are throwing her name under the bus. So Stephanie goes and gets Moose, and there, this continues an argument between Stephanie and Moose and kind of Kyle, because Moose and, I guess, Stephanie have a good relationship. And Kyle kind of threw Moose's name under the bus, which I think further goes to my point that Kyle is dumb for just throwing his outside relationship with Moose under the bus 
because now Moose is going to know more that Kyle is that, that Moose is the only name that Kyle threw under the bus. But Moose is an idiot, so who knows what he will actually do? Even though Moose played off this conversation well, trying to figure out who was the person throwing his name under the bus to Stephanie, which I think it's Helena who has been a rat to a lot of people in this game. Anyway, Kyle Moore has created a mess out of his HOH, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know. I don't really care at this point. I do want Kyle out of the house sooner rather than later, so I hope he continues to make his game fall apart. I don't know if this makes Stephanie's game fall apart and that Betty survives over Stephanie. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to see what we do. I guess we still have to see who Canada votes for to be safe this week. If Betty is safe, it's just going to be more chaos from Kyle's HOH. I have no idea what he would do. He has told Jess that Jess is safe. I think Jess was his only other option. Other than somebody in his own Savage 7 alliance, unless he throws up Kevin as a pawn. I don't know. Anyway, there was an argument today on feeds between Kyle, Stephanie, and, and Moose. But also, furthermore... Just pointing out the problematic of white people on Big Brother constantly, it just never ends the way they cast the white people on this show. Stephanie kept saying how Summer and Tanisha are scary and how they might go off on somebody in this house. And here is Stephanie finding out she's a pawn and going off on people in this house. <sighs> white people constantly make this show hard to talk about and hard to watch. Lord, I'm never going to get to post this video. Now I got to record again. Because these fucking white people are clearly trying to start this race war. It's awkward. I hate this season already. I'm tired of watching Big Brother and the white people constantly being racist. Don't you get tired of watching this shit. This will go down as the worst Big Brother Canada season by far. Because they continue to let Robin Cass cast this show. And Robin Cass continues to always cast problematic white people. Period. So Marty... Just straight up said it this time. During his HOH, he laid this groundwork, and now he's telling Kyle all the white people need to work together, basically. So Kyle and Marty's idea is possibly to not even put up Stephanie now, go against Gino, and put up Herman, just blindside Herman, and put up Herman and Betty. Or if maybe if Stephanie comes down, then put up Herman. Either way, <laughs> this is just pathetic. It's pathetic. And I don't know if Jess goes goes for this in all of her fake wokeness in her stupid ass rainbow colored shirt anyway at this point i don't even know what to say it's uncomfortable watching this season it's uncomfortable trying to watch the white people do the game that white people have always played but try and keep a pc oh my god we are still woke you're not woke at all you're all a bunch of fucking racists outside of kevin so far from all i see helena's a fucking idiot she wants to be white and she's not anyway good luck to anyone who watches this week on feeds because i ain't